Hello everyone. I am going to do a makeup tutorial today on a neutral look, something you could do uh, when you want to go to work or just at home or maybe you want to go to the grocery store, something simple. This is basically the look I do every time I go out. Um, yes, so let's start. I will be right back. All right, okay, so the first thing I want to do today is put on the Pink Cloud Rose Water Moisturizer Cream by Herbivore. It's a hydrating cream, and this is the cream. Here it is. Sorry, it's a little dirty, but yeah. So I'll do that. As you can see, I have to do my nails. Um, so yeah, but I'll do that later. Put it on my hands too, since it's so soft and it feels amazing on your skin. The sec second thing I'm gonna do is the MAC Studio Fix powder. And I'm using NC25. Um, as you can see, I am Indian and this color actually works really well. So let's start. Start with going under my eyes. I am starting to form dark circles, so I need to fix that somehow. Um, my friend is recommending some creams to me. Um, I will be sharing that with another video. But here you go. So covering all my pimples and marks. Okay. Let's see. Okay, and then just a little over your eye. Okay. okay, the next thing I'm gonna do, cause I need to fix some of this um, lipstick. So I will, Put on the Urban Decay, Urban Decay crayon um, lip on lip glide lip glide on lip pencil twenty four seven. It's called the Hex. Um, so it's a little bit darker than my actual lipstick. But here you go. So that's a lip liner. And now I will be using the Clinique Beach Pop number nine. It's the matte lip color primer. So this is what is, it's almost gone. I've used like all of it. So here, um, I'm gonna put this on. I will fix that. Um, so what I follow up uh, that this color with, or this matte lipstick with, is a, another Clinique
Clinic gloss called Wink Pop. So this is Wink Pop. This is very used. There you go. It just lightens it up a little bit. Um, yeah. So yeah. I'm taking a little bit off because I think it's too much. But. Okay. I think that's the best I'm going to do right now. I do have other lipsticks that I will want to share with you guys. Um, that'll be a different video. So, yes. It will be with this. Um, Bow and Arrow from Urban Decay. Um, I love this. This is like my go-to for everything. Actually, I'm going to just use it today. So let's do that. So it does lighten up your lips, as you can see. Are you guys getting good lighting? Okay. Yeah. Next thing I want to add is the eyeshadow. So here it is. So you see, this is the white peach from Too Faced, the sweet peach Too Faced color palette. Smells like peaches. And I've used a lot of this. Here's what it comes with. So yeah. Um, so I used white peach on the upper part of my eyelid, um, right below my eyebrows. Because I want the lightest color to be on the top. And then I'm going to use peaches and cream right here. Peaches and cream on my lid. So let's do that. On the bottom of the lid and a little bit in the corner. I don't have brushes right now, so I'm using my hands. And then I'm going to use Charmed, I'm sure, for the corners. This is a darker color, so I usually go darker in the creases to give that 3D dimensional eye, eye pop. Um, so yeah, that's what it looks like. With a bit more of that charmed. So charmed is right there. As you can see, the top left corner. A little bit more. Okay. Okay, so um I will close that for now. As you can see, I have dark circles right here, which I will fix. Once I find what I need to fix it with. Um, as you can see, this is a little bit last minute. Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'll be using the Urban Decay Optical Illusion uh, Complexion Smoothing 
smoothing cream. So this is it. It's a little bit um, used up, obviously, but here we go. It comes out like this. So yeah. So it smooths out that color, as you can see. Okay. Okay, it got a little bit too high, but let's go back and put a little bit more of the brown on. Okay. Yeah. I'm not an artist like, professionally, but this is the best I'm, I can do right now. Okay. Um, next thing I want to do is put eyeliner. I always put eyeliner first and then I cut on the um, mascara. So let's see what eyeliners I have. Okay, I use the NARS. It's very cheap. Um, high pigment, long wear. I can open it. Yeah, there you go. Um, long wear eyeliner. So here it is. NARS. Um, yeah, I think you can use a cheap eyeliner and you'll be fine for the night. So here we go. Okay. Okay, so here it is, the eyeliner. I think I got a good line going, so that's good. And then a mascara. I'm just gonna layer on the mascara um, because my mascaras have been drying out a lot. Um, so yeah, I'll use two or three <laughs> that I have right now. Um, here you go. So here's one called Climax. Um, let me see what it says. This is a Climax ma mascara explicit black. So I'm going to do the black. There you go. Okay, so as you can see, this mascara isn't very effective right now. 
honestly, my mascaras are drying out. Um, so yeah. Okay, I'm done with this one. I'm gonna try doing the next one. So this is a superhero. I'm gonna try this one. Um, it's called, it, it says Made in Fabulosity, something like that. Um, yeah, so here we go. Let's, do, uh, let's see if this is gonna curl my lashes and make them more defined. Okay, all these dots need to go. Yeah. Okay, this is so dry. I definitely cannot do it. <sighs> Curl my lashes properly. Mm, okay. Let's try one more. This is called the Roulette Lash from Benefit. Um, yeah. Let's see, it says peel on the back, so let's peel it. I don't know, it gives some description in, ah, in some other language. The description of the mascara right there. I don't know if you can read it, but the letters are the other way. But anyways, it just says that this is a mascara. Um, something about Paris, maybe it's made, made in Paris, who knows. So let's go this way. So this one worked. Okay. This one definitely worked. So I guess out of all three, the benefit um, roulette roller lash is the best. As you can see, it's actually curling my eyelashes and um, it's showing up a lot more. So yeah. Let's do one more. As you can see, I'm tr trying really hard to make these lashes go up. Next time, I'm going to wear some earrings. So I have the complete look. Don't have any right now. 
next to me. So let's see. Uh, come on. Okay. As you can see, I've tried to do the mascara as much as possible. Okay. Um, so I have not actually put on under um, liner underneath, black liner. If I do an Indian look, I will definitely um, put on the black liner under my eyes in the water crest. And this is one of my first videos, so I hope you guys like it. And please subscribe. Um, as you guys know, you have to reach 1,000 subscribers to actually get paid for this. Um, everybody is in quarantine and COVID, like, con is going crazy out there. So this is what I have decided to start doing now, a little bit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do it all the time. So let me finish this look for you. Um, I'm going to finish a look with my hair down. So let's do that. Okay, so I've not curled my hair or anything, but this is the final look. Um, so yeah, this is what I look like after the makeup is done. Please let me know if you guys like it, comment, and um, I'll love to talk to you guys.